Welcome back. Taiwa Kalyami is a lawyer and child rights advocate who has become a voice on raising children and the society duties towards them. So remember, you can join the conversation. Tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways to Africa One with the hashtag Ways, or you send an SMS to zero eight one eight zero three eight four six six three. Thank you for coming again, Taiwo. Thank you for me. having me. It's my duty to be here. Now, we had to bring you back because this Naira Mali's um, drama has been all over the place and I've been hearing different kinds of comments left, right and center. Nothing st struck me like the one you did, the write-up, you know. Why were you thanking Naira Mali, Biko? Well, um, Naira Mali is an opium being served by the society. There are four sets of people serving Manamali as an opium. The first one are the parents okay. who play for children, adult content. Um, churches are not left behind, mosques are not left behind. You are throwing a party for children, you play for children, adult content. Content are not meant for children. Hmm. You make children to dance to this song. In schools it happens, in mosques, everywhere. Churches, everywhere it happens. There's no difference anymore between what is meant for children and what is meant for adults. It's an attack on the innocence of children. So children mime all kinds of songs. They dance to all kinds of songs. So we, Naramali is a type. That's the first set of people that serve Naramali. Two, that's the primary caregiver and the secondary caregiver. The primary caregiver are the parents. The secondary caregiver are the, are the, are the teachers, teachers, the mosques, the churches, and all of that. Yeah. The second set of people that serve him as an opium is the corporate Nigeria. You know, because when someone is popular, by virtue of the person's popularity, you want to leverage on that popularity to I promote can't. your product. And so you don't care what the person promotes, yeah. the value system the person promotes, you keep showing the person forth. Now, the third kind of people that are promoting him are those who are silent. You know, people say, I don't have an opinion. I was on a, on a, I was on a radio station and they say, you can't mention Aramali, please. I say, why? They say, uh, our followers, people are listening to the, <laughs> to the show. You know, the, some of his followers are there. We don't, want to, we don't want any problems. So don't mention him. Now, those who keep quiet, and the fourth kind of people, those who know better, but choose to say, I saw somebody is supposed to be dignified, is supposed to be a respected person in society, saying so that I'm a Malian. So mm. the meaning, the question is, what is the meaning of the Malian? So the, when I see all these kinds of hypocrisy going on, and understanding that Naira Mali is not, is a type, is a template, is um, is a reflection of what happens when a society has lost its value system. When, is, when our children don't have identity, when their identity has become porous, and children are confused. So what happens is that someone comes on the scene who takes advantage of the lack of identity, the confusion, the ignorance, lack of value system, and all of that, and begins to leverage on that. So for me, in Aramali, is we've seen all kinds of people in this country. We've seen people in the past. Is the one ready now? Is a fluke. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to go away. Get ready for another one. Who is going to show? Who is going, going to show? Who can be bigger and better? Who is going to show up? That is what we need to understand. Mm -hmm. There is a vacuum that he is fitting into. Now, and the question is, until we sit down to address the fact that this guy is a revealer, he's a revealer of how weak we are now. Pastor Kuleshori always makes a statement. He says that if you step on cockroach, blood cannot come out. Definitely. Because there's no blood inside, inside cockroach. cockroach. Yeah. So, you no, know, Naramali is like petrol, it's like fire. Our children and the public, they are petrol. Now, it is not the fire that creates the everything that makes petrol com combustible. Oh, it's not the fire that creates it. Now, that same fire, if it meets water, nothing is going to happen. Definitely. As a matter of fact, fire, water is going to overpower fire. fire yes. Now, so, but when the fire meets petrol, something is going to happen. There's going to be fire. There's going to be a lot of problem. So the problem is our children, our young people are like that petrol. Now, Amali is the fire introduced now. When I was growing up, there was a guy, there was, there was this, uh, Fuji, musician, Fuji music was very popular. And um, the leading people in Fuji music then were the likes of Wasio and Barista, uh, uh, Barista Kolita, and all of them. They were not singing lewdness. A guy came who called himself Obesere, African Fuji Michael Jackson. He began to sing lewd, he began to introduce lewd, nudity, lewdity, lewdness, mm -hmm. lewdness. Mm -hmm. Into Fuji music, and 
he found his own followership. Later, another person came. We introduced Togri. He found his own fellowship. So the question is, a society deserve the kind of musicians they get? A society deserve the kind of children they get? Because your children is a reflection of your investment, mm -hmm. whether it is positive or it is negative. So for me, I call Naramali a revealer. Uh, I have written two articles. The first one is to say Naramali a word of gratitude. And what I'm saying is that mm -hmm. He is not an inventor. See, all of these things are not new. All of these yeah, things you know that what? you say Malians do, mm. he didn't start them. No. He didn't start sagging. There was a very popular actress in Hollywood. She's a Ghanaian. She she operates between Hollywood and Gollywood. She said she doesn't wear pants. She said it publicly. And I don't want to mention her. And she advised people don't wear pants. Mm. So she's not the one who started people not wearing pants. And again, again, he's not the one who started people not smoking in their hemp. From fellow Fela Nicola, people yes. have been smoking there. People are now abusing substance. It's not Naramali that started that one. Absolutely. It's yes. not the one who started people dropping out of school. On the account of Fela Nicola Pokuti, many people drop out of school who came to the Shinai who said they that's what they're going to school, to, yes. they were going to be. Now, all the vices we are talking about, it's not the one who started 419. People have been doing 419 before it maybe Naramali was born. So the question is, what he has done, the people packaging, they are astute business people, they look at the decadence in society, and they look at something they can pitch, a pitch that will go with that decadence, and they introduce him to the market. You know so what, some sorry. people are smiling to the bank on the basis of all of these things. Yeah. I have to cut you, because you mentioned something, but you just which passed by, uh, you said something about being a revealer and an inventor. I read it in your post, and I think it's important that as you're giving your examples, I think it's important that people understand who a revealer mm -hmm. and an inventor is, so they better understand um, what, what An inventor saying. is a trailblazer. Somebody introduced to our world something we have not seen before. Mm -hmm. If somebody, uh, for example, when you look at Juju music, for example, mm -hmm. Now, there was a way Juju music was being played before King Sonadi came, if, 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 you read, if you read his autobiography. And, but when he came, people were sitting down to sing Juju music. He came in, he introduced that people should stand. He introduced Hawaii guitar. He introduced a lot of, he, reno, he, he innovated and introduced something new. That's why he could be nominated for Grammy. He has been, he has sustained that, that relevance over for over 40 years. So you can say somebody like King Sonny Ade is an innovator. innovator. You can say somebody Fela like King Sonny Ade. Well, I, I, I don't think so. Okay. Fela, is, that's a symposium discussion. <laughs> uh, because, because I'm also interested in the negative impact of, you know, of Fela on young people. Yes. You know, even till now. A new African shine is there, and we know what goes on there. there we, know, yes. we know how people, uh, uh, what happens there. But So, so King Sonny Ade, till today is still relevant because it did something new. Now, when you now look at uh, Naramali, for example, Naramali, the the music that Naramali is singing is in, the, is in the category of this dance hall. Yeah. The, the rule of music now is that for music to make sense, it must not make sense. Mm -hmm. That's the rule. Yeah. Yeah. So because how, some, how can somebody go to the studio? Ele Dumare, bless you with body, oh baby, oh. Star boy, we bless you with money, oh omoge, oh ya shoko shoko, oh ya be full lot. Now, Ele Dumare, God has blessed you with body. Mm -hmm. God the reason why Star Boy is going to bless with money is not because you can think, it's not because you can reason, it's not because you can you are a sensible human being, but because you have body. Hmm. So what are you promoting? Since. Now, since since many years ago, there was another one that rain that that said that said that that, that, that sang a song. It's escaping my memory now. That that said, uh, 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 I forgot the song. I, I think we, we <laughs> you know, you know. But no, I think so, for music so, to sell, it has an element no, of drugs. It has an element of sex. It drug, has an element sex, of crime, crime in it. And it does not make sense. Yes. Because you see, do you know why? Why music does not make sense for it to make sense? Somebody sang a song, Fashola Ji Jo Mio, Dobo Wonji Jo Mio, Wanko Mi Jabin Do Mio. In that song, it's in the album. I don't know what I'm saying again. It's in the album. What the, if the music we are listening to now, is the people who produce the music, they've seen the shallowness of society. They've seen that we are not people of depth. That's why people like Asha oh cannot survive God. in this country. Asha, cannot, that's why Beautiful Nubia, do you know him? Do you see his music in the mainstream? These are people singing sense. These are people ministering to people's soul. They cannot make it here. Asha has left. Beautiful Nubia is trying. He, he, he shoots his video, he put them on, on his. The only music that, that, that people need, that's the only time he blew. And he has refused. 
he has refused to join the mainstream. So the question is this, because of the quality of our mind, we, society... So are you trying to tell me now, Taiwo, that the people currently, we are the ones fueling this kind of... I, do, I choose not to believe that because... Does it, so, okay, where did, where did we miss it? Okay. Because if you're saying that the, the crop of music that is coming is because of what the society is demanding. Yes. So it means that we are the ones demanding for vulgarity, we are the one, yes. and crime and all of that. So where did we get Look at the love. Look at the love, demand and supply. <laughs> Can anybody go to the market and produce a product that he knows nobody is going to buy? Yeah. Why do people do feasibility studies? To see whether this product you want to introduce to the market will sell. Will sell. You can't take ice to the Eskimos. Nobody's going to buy it because ice is surplus there. When you see a product trending and do well, it is because people are in demand of it. And what people are in demand of is a product of their value system, value rules. Now, this is the point. At the end of the day, what we are seeing today is a reflection of our society. You call Malian a movement. Malian is not a movement. Movement is a system of ideas and ideals. When you're talking about system, negative or positive, look at Adolf Hitler. Look at the kind of movement. Now, movements are predicated on ideology. Ideology is what informs lifestyle. What is the ideology of Naramali apart from people's confusion, apart from people's directionless, apart from people being disgruntled? And there are two followers we need to understand. We need to understand the rich. The rich follow Naramali because they like this question of identity. Mm -hmm. Because what does he represent? What does he stand for? All these things he says, how does he advance people's life? Mm -hmm. Go to Kirikiri, go to uh, Panti police station. Now, that, that's number one. Th th those ones are confused. Now, the poor, they're also confused, but their own problem is greater. Their problem is greater because they are disgruntled. They have no, life has no meaning to them. These are poor children, 13.5 million children are, are out of school. I went to Surulere. The CDA there, Community Development Association, told me that in this community, if you give a child money, three-year-old child, go and buy in their the child knows where to go and buy it. Now, these are people that don't go to school. When they go to school, there's nothing they have been taught there. 13.5 million children are out of school. Nigeria, 87 million Nigerians are poor. 87 million Nigerians live on 1.9, less than $1.9 dollar per day. day yeah. So when you look at all of these variables, so you find the poor people, they are not going anywhere. Their esteem has been attacked by the way they are treated. So. So when you find somebody who comes, hmm. who sings a song, who represents defiance, are you getting it? Then you find followership. Then again, oh. EFCC is one of the bodies that gave this guy wing to fly. Though before EFCC has sang, it's a go, which uh, was adopted for for, for FIFA, 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 yes, yes. you know, uh, and yeah. brought uh, brought together. But you see, it was not as popular. On TFCC arrested, you know, this is the problem in Nigeria. The problem is that we have a nation where those who are responsible for enforcing our laws or those who are supposed to take responsibility for our children don't invest in children. Yeah. We don't invest in children. We don't invest in education. We don't invest in social amenities. We don't invest in social protection. Then when children who are not trained begin to show traits of not being trained, then we become angry. How can you be, how can you be angry at what you have created? How can you be angry? How can you be... How do you want to eat where you have not? Why do you want to reap where you have not sown? So when children begin to show this, how you show up, you said there's something called Yahoo boys. How will people not do Yahoo? I'm not endorsing Yahoo. I'm not a Yahoo person. How will people not do Yahoo when they don't know where the next meal is coming okay. from? Everybody in the I, society. I, I think it's so interesting how you're passionate about this topic. And yes, with, uh, I agree with a lot of things you said. But let's look at it from the global view. It's not just Naira Mali we're talking about. We have, yes, we may not agree with the contents of Naira Mali's message. But there is also a society like beehives. Beyonce. There is believers. So it's not the first time that we're seeing a case like this. As, as a matter of fact, we called him a revealer, so he's not the first of it. So is it wrong for, I mean, is Naira Mali or Beyonce or all those people, are they to blame for the level of followership they're gaining or the level of influence they have over people? Okay, look, if you, if when you look at the developed country, everybody have their own followership. Beyonce has followership. Those who are talking sense, look at people like Jordan Peterson. Look at Ben Shapiro. These are people you can check out online. They have huge followership. There's a guy called Alex Jones. Over five billion for over five billion people have viewed this video, and he's not talking lewdness. He's talking value. There's 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 there's, there's you have the liberals, you have the you have the you have the conservative, you have the right, you have the you have the people on the left. People maintain opinion. 
Here, the problem here is that we are confused as a people as to what we represent. That's why somebody today we criticize one musician. Tomorrow he will come out and say we should look at lessons we can learn from his success. So the question is, what is the vision of success? Because somebody wrote an article in December saying that uh, we should study Naramali, we should look at his success. I said, okay, excuse me, let me ask a question. What is the vision of success? Is success not consist, not synonymous with sustainability? If somebody shows up, people, the band has shown, shown up now. There was a time it was Mr. Kepe Buna. There was all of these people have come, have come and gone. There was, this was one day called, they have, they have all come and gone. Mm -hmm. So somebody ran for one year, 2019 is and the most success. sad. You now say that's your own, it means your shadow. That's your own division of success. You are now asking, you know, so you can bring Hitler now and say we should study Hitler on what Hitler did right. Hitler did not do anything right. Okay, so how do we find a way forward? Because Uti is your square. <laughs> I, you know, it's, there's, you're being hit from all sides. Yeah. And the only thing that keeps ringing to me, and we were talking about this before the show, there's nothing new under the sun. The mm -hmm. gap is what you're talking about. Yeah, so how? For the me, Fela has, I think Fela did more good and more damage because, do you know when, or do you remember when it became trendy to say, I'm just being real? I'm just being real. There's a gap. People are standing with Nairamali, I stand, because they think he's against the man. Anywhere, in any country, where somebody stands up against the man, he will always find followership. Always. So beyond that, how do we remove that? How do we feel that that's, that element? See, this is the problem. Mm. Uh, today I wrote an article. I write, article every, I write two articles every week. Um, I write on Friday, Vital Bitter, the, the, diary, the diary of a roving public lawyer. I, so on Friday, I started this series. Uh, today, I ended it under my sober, uh, sober on his knees on the last okay. day. What I'm saying is this. Every problem, like my bulldog says, is a wisdom problem. Yeah. If you are trying to solve a problem, you must first look at how did society become like this. We are in a third world country. Family is supposed to be the strongest, but family is the weakest today. Yeah. Why is the family weakest? Family does not have support. There's no nation on earth where family is responsible for taking total responsibility for raising children. None. Any nation that makes sense, that wants to, that wants, that needs, to, that wants to create a glorious future. Now, people say family force, family force. Family is not forced in everything. You say, when we want to raise children, family force. Family is the bedrock of a nation. No, I don't agree. Family is forced in some things. When it comes to providing, when it comes to inculcating in children positive value system that's the res number one responsibility of family because family is the closest to the child to the child when it comes to providing social amenities education health shelter the state is responsible the community so when you say family for family for we confuse family in this part of the world make we continue to raise prayer points for family that will make them to do what they are not created to do family is not created to be paying school fees Families are created to be take full responsibility. There's no nation on earth where education, public education, is an alternative, where private education is an alternative for public, public education. education. Public education is available for as many people that want it in a sane society. Those who want a level of luxury, they go for private education. So this is the problem. There is a lot of pressure on family. When there's pressure on family, they are not able to take responsibility for the things they should take responsibility for. Now, you, you leave that, then you go to our higher institutions. Now, particularly private institutions, higher institutions, that is the bedrock of hypocrisy in this country today. You are raising children in the university, they can't use phone. You are raising children in the university, they cannot have boyfriend, girlfriend. You have, you have, you have what they call uh, 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 Paul Lane, Lane. Esther Lane. <laughs> Pe people, I, I don't even understand. And people are not being, so they pretend. You, know, you, you mm. create an enclave for pretense. So when they go out, they go and show themselves. So, so the thing is this, we need to address all of these issues. Then secondly, we need to pay attention to our value system, but this is it, hunger. Uh, rationality ends where hunger starts. Hey, hey. When people are hungry, that's what somebody said. When people are hungry, there's yes. limit to how they can think. Yeah. Now look at look at politicians go and give people two hundred naira. Is that also two hundred naira to vote? Mm. Somebody says when you give, when they give you two hundred naira, it means you are saying you are worth two hundred naira. I say no. The person collecting two hundred naira, the the reason why the person is worth two hundred naira is not because he's collected two hundred naira. The person the reason why the person is worth two hundred naira is because the states has dealt with him to the point that he feels that he can collect 200 naira. Who can come and give me 200 naira? 
<laughs> so why are you telling people when they collect 200 naira, they are, they, they, they are saying this, what they are worth, and all of that? Okay. So the foundational thing for me is that we need to address the issue of poverty, two, family needs to be empowered, then lastly, those, let people know where you stand. In a developed climate, people stand, take stand. People are people who operate according to their ideology. Mm. You have the conservative, you have the liberals. You have this conservative saying, I'm pro-life. The liberal is saying, I'm pro-choice. You have the conservative saying, no to homosexuality. The liberal is saying, I'm for homosexuality. In this country, we don't know where people stand. This day, today you are posting, you are for Neramali. Tomorrow you are posting, you are not for Neramali. You, you, people are even confused. And this has confused young people following us because they don't know where we stand. Why are we not coming out at this time to start, you know, you know, you know, you know what, 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 um, what um, uh, someone said, he said the hottest place in hell mm. should be kept, should be reserved for those who keep quiet during moral crisis. Jiron says evil is not a match for good, but good must be active. So the question today is we have find a lot of people who are quiet. When are we going to come to church one Sunday and say the topic today is Naramali? Mm. Let's discuss it. When are we going to discuss Big Brother? We don't discuss all of these issues. And those who are causing trouble, they are vociferous, they keep talking, they keep doing their own. You, you, mm. you all your opinion about Naramali now for leaders in this country, their opinion are private for private consumption. Okay, I think we <laughs> wow. that point we have to you keep are this. So I think we would like to tell our producers to do a part fire. two. Because the truth is that we want to take a stand here. Mm. We don't want to be neutral. Yeah. It's important for everybody to take a stand. Mm -hmm. And everybody going with the fact of I'm a Malian, I'm a Malian, you need to think twice before you make that fact. All right, so catch us live every weekend from Fridays to Sundays at 8 p.m. as we bring thought-provoking and engaging conversations to your screens. Thank you so much, Taiwa yeah, Kalemi. I mean, we have to bring you back again. <laughs> you know, so you can watch a repeat at 3 p.m. tomorrow. In case you missed today's quote, um, here it is again. Um, where's that quote again? So it says, great things are not accomplished by those who yield to trends and fads and popular opinion. You must take a stand like you've heard from our guests. So enjoy the rest of your evening. Ladies, thank you so much. And thank, thank you so you. much, Taiwa, again. Thank you very much. All right. Have a fantastic week. Yes, yeah, so. Bye.